Sorry, it's been a while since I've posted. I uh, actually tore a ligament in my foot and then had a surgery, and it's been swelling up when I sit at a computer and stuff, and so I haven't, uh, I haven't been posting any videos. Anyway, I did finish this video before I tore my foot, but I uh, just never got around to uploading it, so I thought I'd go ahead and do it at this time. What I'll show you what I did to my foot. Um, if you look at your right foot, this is your big toe and your second toe running into each other up about the peak of your foot. There's this ligament here. It's called a Lis Franc. And you've got a ton of them. You can see from this left, left picture how these all tie in together. Apparently, I tore these um, in this area and had to have a surgery. Let me just show you a couple x rays. This is uh, my foot before at least part of my foot before they uh, were able to cinch down the screw and clamp everything together. This is kind of the after. They're holding it together with a screw until it heals and then I'll, I'll get it all removed again. Anyway, that's my excuse for why I've been out. Um, I'll go ahead and get to the video now. The video that I created is using the AccuScan, mostly concentrating on the AccuScan portion of the CAD software. The TorchMate form has a sticky on this where TorchMate covered this in a lot of detail and I don't think I can improve on that very much I just kinda went through a few examples but I hope you find some useful information in here toward the end I also cover allsilhouettes.com a place where you can get free vector graphics so um, if you feel comfortable with the AccuScanner that's not a tool that you have or are going to be using you might want to skip ahead and you can uh, get to this section where I'm talking about the uh, All Silhouettes portion. It's the very last part, I think the last few minutes of the video. Alright, this is for tor TorchMate users. Um, what I wanted to do is cover a, maybe a couple different ways, maybe in multiple videos, of ways to work with graphics. For those of you that have the full version of the CAD, you have this little button, the Scan Tools button down here, and that'll give you the centerline option and the AccuScan option. Um, TorchMate did create a video on using these and I, I mentioned using the centerline option with text or something before. Uh, I'll cover uh, really quick because this is all I'm going to do. Let me go pick a font like uh, Arial. And Alt S, I don't care to see my uh, fill right now. So what I'll do is if I go and choose a centerline option, what it'll do is go and calculate the centerline of whatever I have right here and in this case I can create a single line font which I'm going to actually delete if I were to use this with a photo let me go file import and I were to center line on this it'll give you a really good idea of what you might expect you know you can it can maybe give you something to go off of uh, personally that's not very useful to me but I just wanted to show that option anyway what I want to spend my time on covering a little bit more in this particular video at least is the uh, AccuScan option which is right here if you import an image and click on this AccuScan it will monochrome your image um, now I know the full version of Sign Lab, they had this posturize region and you can actually, instead of monochroming the image, it could uh, vectorize each uh, different layer of color, each color in its own layer. Um, but that doesn't appear to be an option that works here. Either that's a problem on my end or it's a limitation that they provided in the TorchMate CAD anyway. Um, it'll monochrome this image and then you can take this image and go back into the AccuScan. And you can come up here, there's there's a TorchMate video that covers how to do the trace setup. These other tools are just for manipulating the image and things typically, like cropping and cutting and you know things like that. I'm not going to cover those. I Go ahead and play with them if you want, but the, the meat of this is over here on the right hand side. Um, what I tend to do is I like taking one of these presets, logos with compost, logos with complex complex with detail and I like tweaking one of these if necessary because um, you can go and mess with these things all day long but um, once you find a favorite or two you're probably just going to be leaning on those you may even want to save them as your own so if I click OK to this and click this vectorization button 
you can kind of see the lines in here, some of them at least, and how tight that is. And actually that looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to go ahead and just close this, move the image off, and you can see what we've got here. This is a logo from uh, the school I attended. I just did an alt test to show the fill. And you can see how it took the pixelization and graininess of this and it smoothed it out. And you've got an image that's basically ready to cut here. If you zoom in, look at this eye. This eye's a little messed up. Um, control B to break it. Control 1 to weld it. XOR weld it. Now I'm going to come in. I'm going to actually do an arrange, convert to, make sure it's polyarc, which it is. And then the reduce nodes option is available. I accept the default. Now when I double click on this, you can see I have a lot less nodes to, to mess with it. So what I'll do is I'll just come in here and delete a chunk of these, round out the eye a little bit, delete some more of these, do the exact same thing. So that just because you find a very good image to uh, you know bring in doesn't mean you aren't going to have any cleanup to do in it. So I did I made the manipulation there on that image and that pixelization that it happened to capture is now gone. There is another option though. Let me show you this. If you basically go in and do the AccuScan again, and I'm going to choose the exact same option, complex with detail on the logo, but I'm going to click on this setup, small shape accuracy. I'm going to bump this down, turn that accuracy way down, and I'm not saving it. I'm just going to use the set default settings that I've tweaked. Click on the vectorization. Now, if I grab that photo and move it out of the way, which one's which? The photo's on the right. Now if I go in, you notice that um, this very small shape, which let me do break and control one. Okay, so this very small shape doesn't have that problem anymore. So you can take one of those existing settings and go and tweak it just a little bit and then maybe even save it if you want. And you can improve upon these graphics. This thing is ready to cut out. I mean, this there isn't a lot of... Uh, not any tweaking to do on this. Sometimes if I notice there's a lot of points, which this one seems to have, I'm, I'll always go up to Arrange, Convert to Poly Arc, if I have to, um, or and Reduce Nodes. 0.003 is the default that I have, at least on my system. That does a pretty good job. Let's just leave that alone. And you're off and ready. Now, let's go to some, uh, let's go to a photo, let's say you don't have a great photo. Um, Let's see. I mean, if I were to choose something like this PNG, it's going to ask me about some transparency settings. I'm going to leave those alone. I can take this PNG, very simple image. I can trace this just like this. And that's my photo, I think. And here, here's our image, about ready to cut out. Um, might need to... There we go. So this thing's ready to cut out. You might need to go and tweak it a little bit. I'm just doing a bunch of commands in the background, not really explaining them. I did a control one, lost some detail. Let's do this, control one here. Still lost the detail. You'd have to mess around with this anyway. Um, what we have here you'll have dropouts like this would drop out and stuff so you'll need to tweak it and things but I mean something very simple like that with nice great lines that's going to work out well for you so whenever I try to go and find anything online I'll try to find a piece of clip art if I can here's a small piece of clip art the larger you go the better the smaller not now this has a watermark on it um, which is fine I just wanted to grab a small image of an elk to show you um, how it works. Now this is a small one. It's not going to work too great. When you monochrome it, this is what you're getting. I'm going to choose the complex with detail and do the vectorization on that. Now that will get us pretty close. You can see on the the images on the right, um, the watermark actually you can see how it, it came into play here and cut out some of the details. Uh, you are you did lose a little bit of details. You can you can try to do this AccuScan again. Change the setup. Let's let's bump down the small accuracy, the small shape accuracy. 
Let's bump the speckle filter. Yeah, we don't have a lot of speckles on this one. Let's go ahead and uh, keep the corners a little sharper. Keep the tolerances a little tighter. Yeah, I don't want it that tight. I want it, let's keep it at nine. Let's keep that tolerance there. So now if you come up here and click the vectorization button, we might have been able to improve it on a little bit. You might be hard pressed to tell if there are any real differences. A little bit. You can see like this horn, the antlers up here. They, that's where some of the detail is a little bit different. So the larger the image you can come in and the more monochrome it is, the better. If we go and import something like a live image, like this elk right here. And this is a small one too. You want to go with a large image. This one, you would think, is not too bad. There's not a lot of grass or anything in the background that's going to create a lot of noise. However, look at the white on the antler and the white on the uh, snout and everything. If you go and try to monochrome, if you try to go and AccuScan this, it'll monochrome it, and you can see how those get washed out. Everything's one color or the other. Um, you can come in here and then try to do the exact same things. Um, let's click on logo with complex detail. Let's Let's bump the speckle filter up. Let's uh, bump the small shape accuracy down. Say OK, vectorize it. And you can get a, a decent image to start with. There's still, yeah, I mean, you go to try to cut this out with plasma and you can have fun with that. Um, but it, it'll give you something to start with. You may be better off just tracing something like that. Um, and that's not just for. TorchMate CAD, you go and try to do something like that with an Adobe Illustrator, which I have, and you're going to get very similar results. Now let's go bring in a, a horrible image. Um, this image is another elk. It's really small, so when you blow it up like this, it's going to have a lot of pixelization. And then you have this tree and all this grass and everything around it. Watch what happens when you try to act scan this. You get a lot of noise. Let's go ahead and... Uh, that's that's when you monochrome the image. Um, when you come in here and try to actually trace it, I'm going to bump down small shape accuracy, and let's bump the speckle filter up, and then vectorize that. And you'd have to come in here and play with the settings and see if you can get any better results. And that actually isn't too bad um, from previous attempts, but it's still something that's kind of hard to work with. It's It'll probably be easier to trace, which I'll do in another um, another video. So one thing I do want to mention, though, is uh, if if you want to go and find images, go to Google and look up, say, like you want to look up a camera or something that you want to cut out. So I'll come in here and I'll click camera, and you'll get real cameras. And if you try to go and trace these, you're going to get all sorts of weird results. See if you can find something under clip art first. So camera clip art and here's that camera that I found. Um, different cameras are going to give you different results. Remember, remember it's going to monochrome it and then um, and then you're going to vectorize that. So things that have shading are not going to look necessarily the way you expect them to. So let's go grab this image. This is a uh, let's go full-size image. That is the full-size image. I'm going to save the file Let's import this. There it is. Small. Look how small that is. So you bring this up, and there's a lot of pixelization. But you go in mono. You go in uh, AccuScan this. It monochromes it. And you can get decent results. Um, complex detail. I'm just going to go in here and tweak this. Small shape accuracy. I. You see me bumping that down enough. I should probably just create my own custom uh, setup at that point but what we're going to do is not worry about it right now so I've changed the settings click vectorization I maybe went a little too loose it's it's a little too garbled let's come back in here do it again We'll call it long lines and curves. Let's see what kind of results that gives us. So that maybe looked a little better. Nah. Yeah, so you see all this detail in here? You don't want that. 
So you end up, what you'll end up doing is just have to play with those settings multiple times and, and get them to work the way you want to. Now one final thing I want to mention to you is uh, you can get free vector. Uh, instead of having to go for clip art, you can go get uh, free vector artwork out there. That one place I found is called All Silhouettes. So you go Google All Silhouettes, you'll come to allsilhouettes.com and you come in here and they have all sorts of packs of silhouettes. Notice all the, the different uh, pages down here. And each page that you look on is going to have, well that's the last one so it only has five. But they usually have like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, fifteen different packs on here. So you can find all sorts of things. Here's cats and a lot of ones I don't really care about. So what say like you want to look for something for the holidays you can come up here and type search for holidays and that didn't work let's call holiday without an s so apparently the search is a little bit picky so you can come in here and find all sorts of things like you can find these uh, files Let, let's just download this Christmas one for instance one thing I have I hate about this site so when you go to download it, you're looking for it. Where's the download button? Where's the download button? Oh, okay, here's the download button. You click on this, it'll take you off to another site. The actual download is below that, this little black bar, which is kind of hidden. It looks more like an informational bar. So you click on that, we'll save the file, and what this is going to provide you is it's going to actually provide you an Adobe Illustrator file. So I'm going to extract this. You've got the license file that tells you how you can and can't use this. Um, they're actually pretty open, you, you know, if, as long as you're not trying to claim the artwork for yourself and saying it's mine, then, uh, and you, re and you, but you go and refer back to them, you basically can just use it. Go ahead and read the license if you'd like. Anyway, this Christmas, this file, the AI file is the one that we want. Um, I'm going to just drag it on my desktop here. Now, I have Adobe Illustrator. If I click on this, it'll open up Adobe Illustrator. But if you don't have Adobe Illustrator, you can open it with Cat, with, uh, the Torchmate sign lab stuff torchmate cad software and here you go now if i all of this is considered one object right now if i break this apart all of your inside paths like on the snowman they're going to um well let's just do it let's just just choose this snowman oh everything's highlighted control b to break that now everything right here is um i'm going to group this control g and let's alt G that actually I don't want the hat as part of that group control G take these two things weld them together take all of this do an XOR weld now I've got this one single object I'm gonna go ahead and move it off um, the rest of this you can um, you know discard if you want after you're done but you can go to this site find all sorts of files and um, you know put them together in combinations or whatever you want to do take one of these and go and modify it you know if you need to and do whatever you want to basically and so there's a lot of free images out there because they're vector already um, you don't have to go and do anything with them like this Aki scan or anything so that's just an option for those of you that don't have, don't have this option and, and won't be getting that option. Um, th that option I'm referring to is the AccuScan, the image import option for Torchmate. Anyway, this is, again, a lot of these details can be found on the Torchmate video on Pirate that is available there. And for those of you that don't know what Pirate is, pirate4x4.com. You can go to the forums under the Torchmate area. There's a sticky under there where they've got a link to a few videos and they'll cover that in a little bit more detail. Anyway, hope you found this useful.